Hello, during this week we're going to look at the uh, Department of Basic Education of the Republic of South Africa's um, National Senior Certificate Exemplar Mathematical Literacy Paper 1 for Grade 10. We have now done, we are now done with all the financial mathematics for the year and um, it is just look good, uh, a good way to just um, enter the the uh, the financial mathematics by looking at the exemplar paper. Okay, so we simply uh, the exemplar paper is included with this week. For this week, um, we um, you welcome to print out the whole paper or both papers and both memos. It is great to work on it as revision but we're just going to look at a couple of questions so the first question we're going to look at is question number three so let's just zoom in a little bit okay so it the question three says below is a till slip Mizanda received for her shopping at shop and go Shop and go. So here is the whole till slip. How many items did Mazander buy? So what we can do is we can count every single one of these um, these items, but now also uh, oh. Total items. Sometimes on the till slip it says total items and it gives you the amount, but now um, we don't have the total items. So let's look at it. Two carry bags, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, three popcorns, uh, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Let's quickly go to the memo. See how the memo is. The total number of items is 26. Right, the next one. Calculate A, the price per unit of the microwave popcorn. Right, so there's a microwave popcorn. We do not know what it is. So we take the three thirty two rand ninety seven and we divide it by three. So let's go to the answer. See? Um thirty two rand ninety seven divided by three and we get ten rand ninety nine. So you get a mark because you showed your workings, you showed you you know that because he bought three popcorns, you take can take the amount for the popcorns and divide by three and one for give the simplifying answer. Calculate the total amount due after rounding if shop and go rounded the total down to the nearest five cents. Okay, so um Mathematically, we can say 324 rand and then 90 cents is the nearest 5 cents. But usually in shops, they will round to this 5 cents below this amount. So that would be 324 rand, 85 cents. So let's look at the answer. Okay, 324 rand, 85 cents. So even though the amount that is closest, the 5 cent that is closest to 324 and 89 because the shops will always give you uh, an advantage they will round to the 5 cents to the bottom of this amount so it's not the nearest 5 cents it's the nearest 5 cents that shops will charge so always remember that how much change must the cashier give back to Mizanda? So we will take 400 minus 324 rand 
85 cents. You can also see rounding says minus 4 cents. That gives you another tip for this question 3.1.3. Right, so take the 400 minus 324 rand 85 cents and you will get 75 rand 15 cents. That's the change that Mazander will receive. Zero. <laughs> Sorry. Zero rated items mean that no VAT is charged on those items. Name the item that is zero rated on Miss Zander's till slip. Okay, let's go. Okay, do you see it says zero rated and hash? And do you see that there is zero as the hash? So those will be the two mangoes that she bought is exempted from that. Okay, mangoes. You get two marks for the answer. Well, that's a very nice present uh, mark, a mark for a present. Right, and then last question for today. How much fat did Ms. Zander pay in total for her shopping Um, here it says the VAT, including 14%, 38 Rand, 92 cents. Let's quickly look at the memo. And yes, 38 Rand, 92 cents. Thank you very much. Please do question 3.2 from the exemplar paper before you look at tomorrow uh, tomorrow's video, because otherwise it will be a waste of your time. Thank you very much.